Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'm doing something with apples. Now, I wanted to bake a pie, but that seems so boring and everybody puts apple pies on. So I'm going to do something different. I am going to make some apple dunkers is what I'm gonna call them. They're gonna be mini little apple pies that you hold that you can just dunk into vanilla buttercream. So stay tuned and watch this episode. I have decided not to measure here because sometimes to be measuring makes me not want to bake. So I have three apples. We're gonna start with that. I can always do extras and I'm gonna put a good amount of cinnamon in there because I like a lot of cinnamon. And then we're gonna put, let's see, that looks like that amount of flour. And then I'm gonna just pour some sugar in. Pour some sugar on me. Okay, I'm just gonna mix this up. So that gets our apples. I'm gonna make sure you get that cinnamon all over them. You want them all evenly coated. Looks good to me. Get all that sugar from the bottom on them. Okay, apples are done. They look good, nice and cinnamony, perfect. Now I am not making my own dough. Reason being, I still have two of these from last Christmas. So they're like eight months old that I need to use up. So what I thought I could do, is it thought enough? Yeah, it's from the fridge, so. We'll just let that sit. So what I could do is, you know, I want them into more like squares. So I'm just gonna cut these parts off and I'll still use them. I'll use them at the end. So I have two of these round things. Let's see, can we get this one undone? Sure. Sure we can. Okay, so this is gonna make us four. Well, this is gonna be fun, guys. Okay, let's see. Let's try to push the envelope and put four. So that one I have four. I'm gonna wipe my hands a little bit. Bring that top over. I'm just gonna pinch the edges. Four is quite a bit. Let's get those edges crimped. Oh, that's so cute though, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna seal that. We're gonna put a little egg wash on these, so um, that'll be good. Yummy. Okay, that one turned out much better. Okay, here we have our little apple pie dunkers. I'm just gonna put a little slit on the top of each one. And now we're going to brush a little egg, have a little egg wash on them. This will help brown them, make them look pretty. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. A little different twist on an apple pie. This would be great to take to um, someone's house, especially when there's lots of desserts and you don't wanna commit to a whole apple pie, a whole piece because there's so many other things. Okay, we have this extra dough here that we're just going to smush. I'm not even getting my rolling pin out because I'm too lazy. Maybe that should have been the name of my channel, The Lazy Cook. I say that a lot. I'm too lazy. I'm, I don't feel like doing this. Okay, maybe I do need my roller. I'm using this piece of plastic because I didn't want to get flour all over my countertop and have to clean it. And so this just makes it kind of easier. It doesn't stick. It's a little harder to roll out though. Then you just kind of flip them up, flip all the sides up, and the apples are gonna still show out the top. And we're gonna put this in the fridge until it's ready to bake. Ooh, don't those look good. 
30 minutes and 400. They are perfect and so cute. These are absolutely adorable. You can see a little splitting happening here. This one split too, but they still stayed together perfectly, so they'll be fine. These would be so fun to take to a party. Okay, now to make our frosting for, to dip our pies in. I'm just gonna put, let's see, let's try one cup. Maybe that's two cups of powdered sugar. <laughs> I accidentally melted my butter, bummer. Um, that's probably a couple tablespoons. Let's just mix that up, see where we're at. We don't have to use all butter, we can use a little bit of cream. Okay, you can use milk. I don't keep milk in the house. I just keep cream. If something asks for milk, I water down my heavy cream. Okay, there we go. That's a better consistency. And then we're gonna put in our vanilla. Shake up my homemade vanilla. And we're gonna put some cinnamon in it. Yummy. And this'll be, now we want it dippable. You know, this isn't to spread. So right now, it almost seems like it's not very dippable. Cause you know, our apple pies are delicate. So I want it a little runnier. And I have this little bit of butter left, so we're gonna use that. Okay, that seems a little better. Okay, we have our apple pies. Oh, that dish is a little too big. And there we have it, our apple pie dunkers. Yummy. Let's give one of these a try. Okay, we got our dip on here. Let's try her. That is so much fun. Wow. Get a little another dip in there. Mmm. That is absolutely spectacular. These are amazing. Definitely give it a try. You will love them. They're awesome. Mmm. <laughs> Sometimes I just impress myself. So it goes to show you don't always have to measure when you're baking. Don't have to measure any of this. It was super quick. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. Please subscribe below and give me a thumbs up.